Hello everyone, I'm Shuo Yang and I'm a PhD student at Louisiana State University in the Department of Civil and Environment Engineering. I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, happy to uh, here to join this uh, training video. So uh, I think Yuxi has given a very uh, detailed introduction about what is groundwater and what is aquifers and the natural hazards related with groundwater, such as the saltwater intrusions. So next, I would like to uh, uh, provide some materials uh, to show what kind of uh, groundwater study we are doing. So uh, here I want to talk about the, my previous project uh, for groundwater study, which focuses on the New Orleans area. So as we can see in the left map, uh, this is a map for the New Orleans city. So we can see New Orleans is a coastal city, which is adjacent to the coastal lakes and oceans. And uh, we can also see there are many uh, navigational canals and the waterways and the Mississippi River in the urban area of the city. So uh, these, uh, in, the, in the map, these black lines represent the levees. So uh, the, and these levees are very important to the city because they prevent the uh, urban area from flooding. So uh, the situation is that uh, the, uh, uh, the New Orleans city has a very uh, low land elevation. And actually in some areas, the uh, land surface is below the, the uh, sea level. So, uh, uh, so under uh, so uh, under this condition, if we uh, don't have these levees, then the entire New Orleans city will be definitely uh, flooded by the oceans. So, under this condition, the levee uh, safety issue becomes very important. So, uh, and actually, the groundwater can be a potential factor that can impact the levee safety. So as we can see in the red figure, the mechanism is that the uh, high river water at the riverside of the levee can seep into the ground and become groundwater. And uh, when the river stage is high, the, then the uh, groundwater pressure becomes uh, also becomes very high. The high groundwater pressure can kind of push the levee foundation materials and which can result in the uh, instability of the levees and which makes the levee easy to be bridged. So next slide, please. And uh, as you may know that uh, in 2005, the hurricane, hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans and uh, the, the, uh, high the high water in the navigational canals and oceans brought by the hurricane uh, can overflow the, the levees and uh, cause some levee bridges. And, uh, so, and uh, based on some research, uh, some of the levee bridges are due to the, uh, partly due to, due to the groundwater. And uh, so as we can see in those pictures, so uh, shows the levee uh, bridge, bridge locations. These levee bridges are actually uh, partly uh, 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 results from the high groundwater pressures. And uh, in this groundwater study, I evaluate the levee safety associated with groundwater. So as shown, as we can see in the uh, red, uh, red map, uh, the, the red map in, uh, includes the black line as the uh, levee systems in New Orleans City. So, and uh, we can see the red color represents the area with high, high risk uh, of levee safety. So we can see in the nor north of the city, especially along the coastal lakes, the levee has a uh, kind of severe levee safety uh, issues. And in the middle, uh, and in the middle part of the city, we can see the uh, meandering uh, Mississippi River levee. Uh, there are also some spurs of uh, high risk, uh, high, high levee, uh, high risk of levee safety along the Mississippi River levee. And uh, uh, in the south part of the city, we can see the uh, some uh, navigation, some levees along the navigation canals and the waterways also have the levee safety issues. So I hope these materials can help understand what kind of research we are doing for the groundwater. Uh, and the next slide, please. So finally, uh, I would like to give some remarks about the, the projects that we are working on, uh, which is called the Integrated Groundwater Management. So uh, as we can see, the project covers the 
uh, area uh, covers a very large area and uh, it covers the lands of uh, totally 10 states in the U.S. And uh, in the future, we are going to conduct a groundwater study in this large area. Specifically, we are going to uh, conduct study for uh, groundwater management uh, in this large area. And this is a very, this is a collaborative project which involves the uh, many graduate students and professors from different universities. And uh, in the future, I hope we can produce good groundwater management strategies in this area. So thank you, and that's all of my talk. Thank you, Shaw. Sure. Thank you for the fascinating talk. So this tutorial is a part of integrated groundwater management project, and the project is funded by NSF EPSCOR. Thank you for watching.